Hi, this is Mrs. Parr, and on this episode of Math Up to Parr, we are going to be talking about measurement, specifically equivalent liquid volumes using the U.S. customary system. So I'm here to tell you a little story, okay? So I hope you're ready. So once upon a time, there was a king, and his name was George. Now, George, he was a ladies' man, okay? So George had four queens. And each queen had two kids, okay? One prince and one princess. And now each prince and each princess, of course, they were divas because they were princes and princesses. So they had two crowns, one they would wear to the mall, and one they would wear to the ball. So my story about King George and his queens and his princes and his princesses and his crowns, those are all related to gallons, quarts, pints, and cups. Okay, so the G for King George stands for one gallon, and inside of one gallon, there are four quarts that are equal to one gallon. So the four queens represent the four quarts that are equal to a gallon, okay? Then there are um, two pints in each quart, okay? So there are two pints that are equal to a quart, but you see inside of a gallon, there's eight total pints. So this visually shows us how much is in each. And then the crowns represent cups. So there are two cups in a pint. You see there's four cups in a quart, and you can see that there's a total of 16 cups in a gallon. So this picture gives us a really nice visual of how many are in each one. So in creating this, we can now use this picture to help us convert between um, gallons, quarts, pints, and cups. So we can look at our picture, and if we, it's asking us how many cups are in six pints, I can look and I see one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna go ahead and count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 cups in six pints. could also do that by seeing that there's two cups in one pint, so I'd multiply six times two because pints are bigger than cups, and if I'm going from big to little, I'm going to multiply. Then it's asking me how many gallons are equal to eight quarts. So I have four quarts pictured right here, so if I doubled that, I'd have four quarts plus four more, which would equal two gallons, okay? I can also do that by saying, okay, there's eight quarts. I know that there's four quarts in a gallon, so I'm going from small to big for my unit, or little to big, so I'm going to divide, which means I'm going to take um, eight quarts and I'm gonna divide it by four. Then it's asking how many quarts are equivalent to 20 cups. Well, there are not 20 cups pictured on here. There are 16. So I could go ahead and I could draw my additional cups and I could count that up, or I could use um, my system over here of big to little, I multiply, or little to big, I divide. So if I have 20 cups, okay, and I see in my picture that there are one, two, three, four cups in a quart, which is what it's asking me, I would take the number 20, and because I'm going from small to big, I'm gonna divide, I would take 20 divided by four, and 20 divided by four is equal to five. And then it's asking me how many pints are in three gallons. So I have one gallon right here, and this has eight pints in it. 
So I could draw some more and I could count that up. Or I could say, because I'm going from gallons to pints, I'm going from big to little, so I'm going to multiply 3 times 8. And 3 times 8 is 24. So that is how many pints are in 3 gallons. Don't know why that happened. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and happy practicing.